We have the pleasure to have with us uh, today Mr. Patrick Nirishema, who is the Director General of the Rwanda Utilities uh, Regulatory Authority, Aurora, uh, and Chairman of the RPM, the Regional Preparatory Meeting for WTDC. Mr. Nirishema, the ICT landscape has changed tremendously in these past few years. Can you tell us what is the importance of the uh, regional preparatory meeting in this new ICT ecosystem? I'd like to echo what you just said about the changing uh, global landscape of the telecommunication industry and uh, ICTs in general. And as we prepare for the WTDC, um, we're having a regional preparatory meeting for Africa region and we're coming up with regional initiatives, uh, proposals that we can take the WTDC that would help maintain the momentum of telecommunication development, particularly in the developing region. Um, over the last decade, we've seen tremendous growth of the telecommunication industry, particularly in Africa. Phenomenal growth over the last 10 years. What we're seeing now uh, is a changing global landscape where um, there is uh, a slowing down um, of revenue growth uh, investment as well and so we're trying to figure out collectively uh, what kind of policy and uh, regulatory measures should be put in place to ensure that we maintain the momentum uh, we have experienced over the last uh, 10 years and to make sure that as we go towards the WTDC that we have uh, concrete uh, proposals that can be considered at a global level uh, for the benefit of the developing countries. So that, I imagine, is, your, is the desired outcome of the RPM? Yes. So uh, the, desi the desired outcome of the RPM is um, first and foremost uh, to make sure that we go to WTDC um, with a unified uh, position as uh, a region, African countries, that we look out for those areas of mutual interest across the continent that we're able to go as one voice uh, into the WTDC. Uh, that is the first thing. The second thing is to make sure that um, we prepare ahead of time and have tangible and uh, actionable uh, proposals that we take at the global conference. That is the second thing. The third thing also is uh, to make sure that as we discuss regional initiatives, it gives us the opportunity to be able to, to, to network uh, between the various member states and to be able to pull uh, ideas and, and resources together and there will be even ideas that we discuss that end up being implemented at the regional level without necessarily having to go to the WTDC. And so looking at the outcome of, of this meeting, I would look at it uh, along those three um, lines and looking at so far the momentum, the passion, um, the engagement that is happening, I have no doubt that we'll come up with um, very tangible proposals that will be discussed, refined over time uh, and make sure that Africa can be strongly present at WTDC and have something to contribute towards the global dialogue uh, that will happen at that stage. Thank you. I have one more question. We are now in the middle of the regional preparatory meeting and just now you, you mentioned two key words, uh, wonderful words. One is one voice, to speak with one voice and you spoke about, you've spoken about mutual interest. Have you seen these during these RPM? Is this what you see uh, yes. from the podium? Because you are <coughs> actually the chairman of the meeting. Yes. What I see at this stage uh, is still in the early uh, preparatory stage. Uh, this meeting comes when we still have very many months ahead of us uh, to prepare for WTDC. So we're having a lot of frank and open conversations I see a lot of engagement, I see uh, a willingness to contribute, to improve ideas. Um, we're looking at uh, submissions by some of the member states and other administrations uh, coming on board and wanting to improve them. So there's no doubt 
that Africa is moving together. There's no doubt that there is a commitment at the continental level. And there's no doubt that the general feeling uh, among the member states is that together we're stronger. And there's no doubt that uh, what I see here is going to continue because you can feel it in the room, uh, you see it in the contributions, you see it in the engagement, you see it in the networking. I think um, Africa has a bright future and RPM is going to, to play a role in shaping this future.